Financials, the top performing sector in the second quarter. Now Goldman Sachs says it's time to get out of one regional name. They've cut Comerica to a cell. It's our call of the day. All right. Good franchise, wrong part of the cycle, they say. Joe? Play the regionals. Yeah, I do. Uh, first of all, Comerica has underperformed significantly some of its peers. I think Goldman talks in the note about regions financial being an opportunity, better geographically located. I agree. Performance standpoint has done better. Signature Bank is a name that I would look at. One of the reasons why I like Signature Bank is I think where we are in the cycle with the margin pressure, you have to look at the real estate exposure based on geographics. You want to be in banks that don't have the exposure to where real estate is in a decline, such as New York. Signature Bank provides you that opportunity. I don't see the lift for Comerica. Um, they had a bad quarter in the prior quarter, got punished for it, and I can't see any visibility moving forward that's going to act as a catalyst. I just think it's very tough, you know, with given where rates are yeah. and where the curve is for them to make money. So it's a but long if you cut rate. rates. The Fed's going to cut rates. It's bad. You get a steeper yield curve. Not necessarily bad. Well, you get it's on been a, bad. It's well, been bad for you, them. You, well, your net interest margins can go up, right? But I mean, I, hasn't I that been the principal you need issue? Low, you had loan growth, growth in the economy and other well, things. Well, loan growth has been the issue, and loan growth has been fairly enough. punk. You have the shadow banking system, which really has absorbed a lot of that. I, I just don't see the alpha really in the banks. If you have a, if you have a, a hugely dedicated portfolio for some diversity, it can be there, but it can't be a big bet. All right, so, so we really like the banks, the money center banks. Um, there's a couple of reasons. One is regulatory relief is reducing their expense lines. Um, but more importantly, the return of capital to shareholders is just incredible right now. They're averaging anywhere from 10 to 11, 12% return of capital through buybacks and mm -hmm. dividends. Their cash flow is very strong. The return on equity is, is, is elevated. You know, the, the capital ratios are, ratios are high. But, you, you know, if you look at the money in the system, we have excess reserves decreasing at the Fed. So the, Fed the, so the banks are pulling back capital they had on deposit and they're loaning that money out. So loan volume is increasing right now, which is another indication that the economy is actually stronger and not going into recession. What are your favorite names, the ones you own? Uh, JP Morgan, Bank America, and Citigroup. I think you could buy IYG and get the mix. But we, we like the banks here against the fact that we have low interest rates. JP Morgan uh, cut their price target on Comerica today, too. So we've got two big folks out there saying, nah, not, it's a non-touch. Um, the only one I'm really in, Scott, as you know, is Square. Um, and I like it. I think the rest of them struggle.